So this is one of the weirdest pickups, y'all, that I've had on this channel. Uh, as many of you know, I probably don't have anything water-related besides me blowing up a boat. <laughs> And um, this is this will be the second boat basically that I have on here. So we were out in Arkansas. I went with my parents-in-law, and um, we stopped at a garage sale, and I just happened to find this, which is so weird. Arkansas has like not no no ocean, no beach. Um, they have a couple lakes close by, but it's just so weird to find this. And guess how much I paid for this? I want you to comment down below how much you think I paid for this before I reveal it. One dollar. I paid one dollar for this thing. It's crazy. I mean, like the box is a little beat up from the top. It's got a rip and stuff, but it looks like everything is here. Uh, I mean, everything is still tied in. Uh, I asked the lady if she was sure that she wanted just a dollar for it. And she's like, yeah, yeah, I've been sitting. This has been sitting here for a long time. She's like, nobody has interest in this. She's like, I'm just ready to get it out of here. It's taking up so much space. And, and it is pretty huge. I mean, it's over, I don't know, probably 12 inches, over a foot long for sure. But anyways, this is one of the first like vintage things that I've had on my channel because it's it works off of 27 megahertz, so it's definitely early 2000s, maybe late 90s. I couldn't really find any info online, and if anybody knows anything about these, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Um, I tried looking up the brand Echo, Hot Sports, and Radio Control Surfer, but when I look up Radio Control Surfer, I get a lot of the Kyosho ones, and this isn't a Kyosho. So the figure is actually detailed pretty nicely. Uh, he's got a, a, I guess a real wetsuit. I'm assuming this dries pretty quick. Um, material feels like maybe, maybe harder than what a Barbie is. It's definitely plastic, but his arms seem to have a little more flex. His head kind of squishes in like a Barbie. So I don't know, a lot of this kind of reminds me of Barbie. The presentation of this is pretty interesting. This totally reminds me of like the late Maybe 90s, 2000s type, like, you know, crazy type waves. Dudes, bury me! <laughs> See what I mean? All done! All right! Gosh, it's so weird. All right, there's a crayon in there. I saw a crayon. All right, comes with a, comes with a free color. Green. Same as the water. So just from the looks of it, it doesn't look as if it comes with the battery to run it. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's a 9.6, kind of like what the, what like the toy grade RCs use, like from Walmart and what used to be Toys R Us. He feels extremely heavy. Just taking him out of the package, he felt extremely heavy. Wow, wow, wow. This thing is freaking awesome. The sticker's already coming off on this thing. Wow. Feel like i'm touching history i'm like i wonder i wonder what the story behind this was but i mean it looks like a very straightforward system i'll tell you the bottom is extremely heavy easy almost probably i don't know four or five pounds very easily we'll, we'll hit that weight uh like i said it's 27 megahertz i don't even know if this thing's gonna work but it's basically brand new so it, so it really should i mean it's got the uh yeah it's got this is how you turn it and this is what powers it uh, I really like the graphic on there. That's that's so like retro. I like it. So let's look on the inside and see what's in here. All right. So in, like, interior is lackluster. It's really just plug in your battery and stick it in. And it's got a little seal around here, which um, feeling it with the screwdriver actually feels pretty good. So it hasn't rotted away. Just very straightforward design. But um, I am gonna have to get a battery for this, and which is funny because it's a Tamiya plug, but I don't have any batteries that are 9.6 that fit in this thing. So I'll have to source them. And then when I do, I'm gonna go ahead and just run it. I have a pool, so we'll try it out on the pool. And then at some point, I'll, I, I live probably an hour away from a beach and I'll take it out to the beach and try it out then. That'd be pretty cool to get some, uh, some drone shots with this. All right, so here's how old this technology is. A, this controller takes a nine volt. When was the last time you seen a controller take a nine volt? And there's also something rattling in here, so I don't know what that is. So second thing is, I found a 9.6 volt. I actually did have one, tested it, charged it, it works. Um, as far as the charger goes, it shows that it's a good battery. Um, so let's go ahead and turn it on. There's no on off switch to this remote. Um, we just slide this to turn it on and let's give it a whirl, let's see. Wow. All right, so from the looks of it, I have 
power, but I don't have steering, so that's kind of a bummer. I don't I don't see this turning at all, so that that sucks. That might have something to do with that loose connector or whatever that is that's loose in there. But anyways, I'm still gonna put this in the water and let's see what it can do. Okay, so I got everything ready and the funniest thing happened. So, you know, normally I, I took a page out of the old mechanics book where if, if something's not working, kind of tap it or something. Well, we have steering now. I tapped, I tapped the back and I think maybe the motor was stuck just from not being used. And we now have steering. All right, let's do it. All right, and that was the first run video. So uh, overall, very disappointing with how fast this thing is. Uh, I definitely will not run this at the beach now, just looking at it. I don't think it's gonna handle the waves. Like I just, I, don't, I really don't think that's gonna happen. So uh, I'll stick to just having it at the pool for my goddaughter. Uh, this is gonna be the perfect speed for her and this thing cannot flip over. If it does, it'll right, uh, upright itself. So, um, I mean, for a dollar, I can't complain. I, this is gonna be fun for her. And honestly, it's just a cool display piece. I'm gonna 3D print a stand for it for the front so that I can stand up and then I'll put it in my case that's back there or somewhere in my room. Um, so it's a good display piece and it's cool that it's RC. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notifications bell. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.